Flight boss, bitch. You know. For sure. You're not listening to the modern and the Terry's move. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about esoteric versus earth knowledge. Because, you know, there may be a lot of things out there where people may think they have obtained some esoteric knowledge, where really it's just a remix of some shit that they have got from earth. And this particular video right here is going to be based upon deciphering energy. Now, deciphering different energies. Now, before we get into this, this is for the subconscious community because we got to be clear on talking about spirituality and energy. Because you may come across a lot of videos that may lead you to believe that the spirit is energy in some way, shape, or form. And things get tricky once we talk about tapping into the lighter frequency vibrations of this realm. Because once we start to conflate certain things and start to attach the spirit realm with the physical realm, a lot of times this becomes the main mistake that all forms of humanity or all forms of life end up losing themselves in. Conflating the spirit realm with the physical realm. And throughout this video, you're going to be able to learn how to decipher between the two. And I got to break that clearly down before I even get into this video so you can fully understand how to decipher energies. Because if you're still thinking that the spirit is energy, you're not going to be able to decipher between the two. And then you're going to be confused on what spirituality and what energy actually is. And you're going to be living your life trying to find something that you already have. So keep this in mind. Now, let's break this down first. What is energy? Energy is a force. Energy is an influence. So, for the most part, when you think about force, when you think about influence, this is something that you have to be hit by. When you think about the term impact, what is impact? Something hitting something else. So when you get impact by an influence, you have to get hit by something. So for the most part, even if it's something that you may not be able to see at the point of time, you could get hit by something mentally, hit by something emotionally, hit by something physically. You ever been like, damn, I just got hit by a thought? Or damn, that shit hit me hard. But it's just because your feelings got hurt or something like that. So put that ram down, laid it down, cold sleep for a second. So keep that in mind. So what I'm actually talking about is when we're thinking about energy, energy is a shape or form. Keep this word in mind throughout this video, form. So energy is a container, a shape or a form that you can get hit by. So when we talk about the spirit, right? The spirit is nothing more, nothing less but a person's, a personality. But what do a personality need to express itself? A brain, a heart, a body. Otherwise, it would be no thing. It would be no body. Other, so you wouldn't be able to be influenced by that person's or that personality. So I don't give a fuck if you think you're seeing ghosts. The shape and form that you've seen that ghost in or that influence that hit you was the shape and form or the container that that spirit had to utilize in order for that personality to be expressed. So we know that the spirit can't be an influence unless it has something to be in to express its personality through. Otherwise, you will you will be unaware of the spirit. You see what I'm saying? Without the container, without the force, without the energy. So right there, that helps you separate and decipher between the two. There's something different there between the energy and the spirit. You see what I'm saying? There's something different there. And if you want to decipher which one came first, uh, you know the spirit came first. But for the most part, because if you want to talk about the energy, that's going to lead you into infinite regress. And if you want to conflate the spirit with energy, then you're going to cause the spirit to create a realm of infinite regress as far as in a spiritual manner. And you're going to do nothing but create repetition in your life as far as spiritually to the point that you manifest a lot of hardship in your life based upon what rotation you keep your spirit in. That's another video. But we're going to get into deciphering energies. But first, I had to separate the spirit from energy, just, just in case the subconscious community and the soul group come across a video of somebody saying that the spirit is energy, which I just bro clearly broke it down, that energy is a force, is an influence. Influence, for you to be influenced by something, you have to get hit by it. A spirit ain't hitting you. A, a, you, you can't see a spirit. 
You see what I'm saying? So a spirit needs something to go through. This is what we call a lot of times the, the smokeless flame, the, uh, the um, gas, light, photons, particles, uh, human beings, animals. Uh, we call it. We call a lot of things a lot of shapes and forms. But based upon the spiritual travel of a of a, of a particular spirit, that's gonna be the expansion or contraction or the level of life that that spirit take at the time to be able to gain enough wisdom to be able to take a next level of life. So it can lead from a photon to a bacteria, from it can lead to a bacteria to an organism. For it can lead, you see what I'm saying? So for the most part, but the spirit is neither of these forces, neither of these influences, neither of these energies. So based upon an energy that's being created, that's letting you know there's a spiritual being behind it. And the energy itself is not the spiritual being. So the energy itself could come in many different illusions. Could come through many different people, places, and things. But the spiritual being utilizing these things is the cause behind it. You see what I'm saying? So in order for a force to have a direction towards you or any other direction, it has to have a, an entity behind it. And an entity that you can't see. But the entity had to utilize that influence, that form, or that force in order to have a light to even be seen in a realm of reality. You see what I'm saying? So... So now, now that we deciphered the spirit from the energy, now let's get into deciphering energies. So you pick up influences every day, right? You pick up all kind of influences. Now, based upon your life and how you look at it, you may call certain influences negative. You may call certain influences positive. You know what I'm saying? But based upon whatever caters to you. And there's a percentage level between all these. Certain ones may be not as negative than others. Certain ones may not be as positive than others. So there's always a percentage range. Always keep the percentage range in everything in your life. The stuff you pay attention to, the stuff you, like, always keep a, a percentage range. Therefore, you know how much you're getting back out of something. So if you've been paying attention to a lot of negative shit, think about how much percentage you've been putting into that. That's letting you know how much, how much you're going to get that back. You see what I'm saying? Now... But for the most part, say you got these influences, you got these forces, you got these containers, you, you're getting hit by these influences, you're getting hit by these energies. Now, the way that you get hit by it is letting you know the angle it came at you, the direction it came at you. So say you get this high influence, you get this influence to make you want to do something um, that's uplifting, then that's letting you know the angle that that shape and form hit you in. Say it wasn't as heavy. Say it just came to you as far of a pigment or of imagination. Then it just came to you in the form of a thought. It wasn't a heavy one. Say you catch this feeling and emotion like, whoo, that's a heavy one, a heavy impact, a big old bubble that you just got hit by. Now a spirit then hit, pointed that towards your direction. Now whatever, when you caught that influence, whatever it made you feel, if, if it made you feel the emotions like, damn, then that's how you decipher that it's a heavy one, and then what kind of emotion that you start to feel from the influence is going to let you know the direction, the angle, and what spirit directed that uh, shit towards you, whether it was a, a spirit that was in your favor or a spirit that wasn't in your favor. Now, and then once you start to tap into those frequency vibrations as far as mentally and the emotions, the more you stay in those patterns, the more you'll manifest a physical representation of the situation that you are in. So here's the thing. When you're catching influences, it's important for you to know that this is not you. You see what I'm saying? You caught this from outside of you. And a lot of times when people like into religion and things of that nature and people who uh, may get into things where they think the spirit is energy and people who conflate the energy with the physical realm, you end up getting spiritu spiritually damaged when this happened. So when these influences hit you, you think you're getting spiritually hit. And when a person think they're getting spiritually hit, it manifests into self-doubt, self-judgment. Because a person fail to realize that they got hit by something outside of them. So they, they, they take the consideration that whatever influences that they have is from themselves. So they end up blaming themselves for these influences. They end up blaming themselves for these characteristics. They end up blaming themselves for the energy that they just received. Now they start to uphold this energy. And then if this, and if this is an energy that they don't like, they start to create justifications. They start to get into certain religions and things of that nature in order to rectify this energy that they're trying to hold up. When necessarily that energy wasn't theirs to begin with. And that energy was pushed out 
from a previous spirit or a spirit that's still walking amongst this earth in a body that's beyond you. Well, I don't want to say beyond you, like beyond like a, a greater being, but just out of your means. That energy got created that has nothing to do with you. Now, for you to get attacked by the energy, you was re resonating in that state of being. So you match the vibe of that energy. You see what I'm saying? But here's what you need to understand. That's what you're creating also. So if you're not learning how to align yourself and learning how to decipher between the spirit and what you're creating, then you won't learn how to lighten up your load because you'll be too busy thinking that these things are you, even the one that you create. The influences that you create, you will still think this you when you need to know you created that is your children. You put that out. So it's no longer a part of you, but it represents you because it's part of your creation. So whatever you pushed out to represent you, that's on you. So yeah, it's on your spirit. That's the key word. On. Be, listen to every word. It's on you. So it's something that you got to carry like a responsibility, carry like a burden, carry like an ego. And the moment it gets shot with an arrow or someone casts a stone at it, you feel like you have to hold it up. Because you put that on you. But the moment you realize that this is just your creation, and sometimes you have to understand that this is it's a part of you. But it's not naturally you because you're truly no thing, no shape and form. And you'll be able to relax on trying to withhold that responsibility. And you'll be able to come up and be, have more clairvoyance and come up with new chakras and ideas on how to explain to others how this is this a creation. But don't don't take this as is. Don't look at this like this truly me. This is not truly me. This is my circumstance. This is my situation. This is my perception. This is what I was placed in. This is the container. This is what I created. This is just my influence that I push off. This may have became my solar system. I may need to know my NATO alignment. But for the most part, don't look at this as a representation of me until you get to know me. You see what I'm saying? Now y'all starting to get to understand how to decipher. So once you start to get into these energies, you'll start to be able to understand that the energies that you're receiving is up to you if you want to play the percentage role into partic participating into that energy. And you don't have to sit there and blame yourself like these energies is actually you. Because the moment you start to blame yourself, then you start to really think these energies is, is you and it start to become your dreams, your imaginations, the way you see yourself, your chakras, a part of yourself to the point that your spirit is now combined and conflated with the physical realm and with you and the physical appearance. Whether it's the mentality that you think ain't physical or whether it's the emotions and, and that. And then once that start to get destroyed, you start to think you're destroyed and you're really not. And spiritually, you're, you ain't going to do nothing but create another realm. That look like a bunch of destroying. And that's where you're actually going to go. So you're not going anywhere. You're coming back into a realm of reality that we're all at. It's just your perception and your position in it is going to be what you have created for yourself. So it's going to be that hellistic dark family and lostness and all kind of shit. So what you need to understand is when we talk about deciphering energies, be careful on what energies that you're receiving. Because the energies that you're receiving is coming from outside of you. And don't start playing a blame game like it's yourself or a particular person. That's why I be saying a lot of times that when, I, when I'm fighting or, or anger, I'm not fighting particular people. I'm fighting the spirits behind it. Because the spirits behind it, a lot of times, be, just be using this person, place, or thing as a character or as a shape or as a container in order for the spirit to, uh, to participate its influence. See? We separated it by just talking about it, the spirit and its influence. So how can it be one thing when I just separated the spirit and its influence? So the spirit and its creation, just change the words. You see what I'm saying? So keep this in mind, learn how to decipher energies. When you, when you obtain certain energies, you pick which one you want to ride as far as a vibrational roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? And it's your choice. But the moment... You get into any kind of sciences, religion, or anything of thinking that the spirit is part of the physical realm. And one of the main ones is saying the spirit is energy. That's going to lead you into mentalities, into when you receive one of these shapes and forms externally outside of you, you end up thinking that this is you. And then you, you wrap your spirit and mingle it like a spider web with it. And being like, damn, you start thinking like, wow, this is me. And you start to try to change things about your spirit that your spirit necessarily ain't have nothing to do with. And you will know this as a representation the moment you start going through frustration, trial and tribulation, things not going your way, th things being misunderstood. 
those are key examples of you conflating your spirit with the physical realm in some way, shape, or form. Which, if you was given more attention as far as the percentage range into understanding that these things are not you and you could just utilize these things as tools and these are just energies and these are just influences, then you will be put more into a space where when things do attack you, you don't get hit as hard because it didn't hit you. It hit what was it there in front of you, what you thought was you, but you didn't even cling on to that. So all you did was laugh. And with all that energy, put you in another space where you manifest more of that vibration. And those are endless, limitless, inf infinite, freeness, un uncontrollable things that can happen. Unpredictable, the things that, un unsudden things that can happen. Because that's the space you're in. You're not in a space of trying to whip, uphold something. You're in a space of free and light and that ain't that can come and go too. So the universe won't do nothing but bring you something greater. And see what you're going to do with that. Is this the next container you're going to attach to? And the more you stay on that balance scale, the more you ascend in a proper way. Without descending. Because the moment you descend is when you attach your spirit to that shape and form that's going to expire. So your spirit descend and sink with it into the waters. But if you want to ascend, you know that that shape and form that you got attached by is not you. So when it get attacked and expires and descend, your spirit gets to leave it behind and go to a greater one. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn air. Subconscious community.